Hey YouTube, my name is Numi and I am really happy today, really happy to bring you these two interesting coins that I may never have bought myself, but um, the fact that somebody has bought them and is sending them for grading at NGC gives me a wonderful chance to show you guys these um, beautiful coins that have been the subject of not just a little bit of controversy, but a lot of controversy. It's always nice to get clear instructions as to where to cut so you don't damage the coins. So uh, thank you very much for, for that. And what we have here is two one-tenth of an ounce gold coins, proof gold coins from the US Mint, and you'll probably already recognize what these are about. And uh, you probably know anyway, because I will have put a picture on the, uh, the video to attract you guys to watch this, uh, this video about these very interesting coins. So what is so controversial about these coins? Well, the design comes from the, the one ounce uh, high definition proof, which is the first in a series. And the, although it really shouldn't be controversial, for some reason in modern day America, it is controversial to have liberty depicted as a, um, as a Negro woman. Uh, although I do understand this is part of a series of coins which will be produced by the US Mint. This is the first one in the series, uh, which will show all the different representations of womanhood in uh, in America and uh, I don't really know why people haven't warmed to this because actually I think it's a pretty nice design but then again I'm British and I don't have the uh, the same kind of cultural issues with this kind of of design um, and uh, I think it's just a really rather attractive well-made coin um, unusually for the US Mint. It's interesting and controver controversy makes it just that little bit more interesting than it would otherwise be. Um, and as I explained in my video on uh, the breast cancer awareness, pink gold coin, um, you know, most American coins, let's face it, they are, you know, they are bound up by acts of Congress and uh, coin committees and, and it's rare that some, something slips through that process, which is even remotely interesting. And I would say that these coins fall into the interesting category, a little bit like the, uh, the pink uh, breast cancer awareness coin. That coin may be the only uh, pink gold coin ever produced in the history of the mint, maybe going forward hundreds of years. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Um, but I think this is an attractive design. And what it does do is it gives people the ability to uh, to buy at a premium because this is for sale at a considerable premium from the US Mint over and above its one-tenth of an ounce gold value. Um, but then again, it is not the same investment level as the one-ounce coin. So, uh, you know, if, if they are going to produce the series in one tenth of an ounce proofs, then buying this one uh, as the first in that one tenth of an ounce series could end up actually being a good investment over time, depending on how the series does. Well, as well as um, as well as the gold coins, this envelope contained uh, this as a present. Um, please, can somebody tell me all about? this because I don't really understand its use particularly. Uh, Operation Enduring Freedom and it's a 25 cent gift token um, dated 2010. Is this, are these collector's items? Uh, is there a, a series of these tokens? I've never come across them before but uh, they look pretty interesting so please can somebody tell me all about this 25 cent gift token?